Hey everybody, I'm Ernest. Well today I think looks like we're going out to the range. I'm getting ready. I'm taking my uh, AR that shoots the 7.62 by 39. Uh, it's a Bear Creek upper and a Ruger 5.56 lower. And I'm going to take my uh, 308 AR-10. Uh, Bear Creek, I think it's Bear Creek. Yeah, it's Bear Creek upper. Stainless steel fluted barrel with a uh, DPMS um, lower. I got a Monstrum, Monstrum scope on on the uh, on the 7.62 and a C-Mag. And this is a cheapy uh, scope. I can't. I think it's oh, C-Light uh, or whatever it's called. They're on Amazon. I, I I don't remember. Waiting for William to show up, and then we're gonna go and. Uh, down to range. He's gonna bring his AR. Um, it's it's a two two three. I uh, I don't remember what brand name it is, but we're going to uh, sight his rifle in too. And um, I would like to try hunting. I want to try hog hunting. I'm not I'm I'm not a hunter. Um, I don't do it. But there's uh, I got people in my family that do hunt. Uh, and um, and I was saying, you know. Why don't I give it a try? Well, so anyway, I'm uh, still waiting on William, but uh, I'm getting the the AR that shoots to 7.62. My idea was to use this rifle for hog hunting. And according to the James... Uh, um, According to the um, camera, <laughs> shit, uh, the hogs are coming out at night, at dusk and uh, late at night. So I'm, I'm probably going to have to shoot at night. So anyway, so I went and bought this accessories and I bought them like over a, a year ago. Nearly. And I have it. I'm going to do a review on the flashlight and review on the laser. And... Um, so I got it set up like this right now. I don't know if it's gonna stay like that. I look through the scope. The laser didn't seem to be in the way. I don't know about the flashlight yet. I did a little uh, looky look and it, it looked like it might work, but uh, time will tell. I might have to adjust it, but uh, these are economy accessories at Amazon and I'm gonna try them out this way and see how it works. Well, anyway, here it is with the light mounted on there. You can see, you see the shadow of the gun, but I'm going to be shooting at, you know, 30 to 100 yards, I think. So th that shadow shouldn't be too much of a, um, shouldn't get too much in the way. I'm going to turn the laser on, try hard to do this with one hand. And there's the laser. You know, I wish one was red. I wish the laser was red or vice versa but it's not they're both green but i can still um make it out and i'm pretty sure in the dark it'd be even more obvious so i pretty much set the crosshairs and the laser together i don't know if you can see on the target the laser and you, you, you might be able to make it it's kind of it's 50 yard range i've already sighted in the scope uh looks like i got the laser pretty much dialed in too so uh well I'm gonna keep shooting here a little longer. We're at the range. William's over here. William's over here shooting his 223. We've got his pretty much dialed in. We're probably gonna jump over to the hundred yard range here in a little bit. But the uh, 7.62 by 39 rifle is actually uh, is performing very well. I'm using the 10 round mag. And um, so far, so good. So I loaded up another 10 rounds. Uh, using the uh, Monarch brand steel case ammo, 123 grain, polyer coating. Uh, here at 50 yards, it's pretty uh, reliable, cheap ammo. What I'm going to do next is I'm going to shoot the fire, uh, the AR with just the laser, not using the scope, and see how accurate it is. 
Yeah, and then finally I took the part tiny that everybody can screw. I don't really know what I did, like, cause, like as I was, as we were out there. Alright, so I just shot, what, I think it was three shots or so. Just using the laser, not not looking down the scope. Just want to see how accurate that laser is. I bought that laser, that laser on Amazon. It was like, not very much. Oh my god, that's pretty darn good that out these shots got a little wild one here but that laser is pretty much on very good wow I'm really pleased was we'll, we'll see how time goes to see if it holds if it holds at zero but I don't know okay William so what's going on over here high and left this one because I, I aimed over here okay and it shot right there so th this is your grouping right here so you need to go down a little bit and then over to the right that's about what an inch yeah an inch. more or less inch why do i keep maybe? here like bullets falling over there <laughs> okay yeah you need to come down and a little bit to the right i guess if you're because this is pretty much your group right here mm -hmm. right here look yeah yeah it's, so you're shooting to the left and high and and high so we need to drop it and then uh go over yeah. to the right but look here william this was my laser and that was not using the scope i just held these my head up laser? these two yeah well, this one too, but I, nice. you know, it's uh, very good. Yeah. Yeah, it's looking uh, uh, really good here that uh, I'd be able to use this thing hog hunting at night and not even have to use my scope. Cool. I just, the only thing I am uh, don't know is how good that laser will hold zero. I don't know. I think over time, you know, it gets knocked off just a hair. It's going to take it off. You know, if the shot's 100 yards, it's going to be way off. You know what I mean? So, uh, we'll know after a while, after these few shots or more, if it's going to hold. All right, William, let's see. Go ahead. Hold the gun up for me so I can adjust. Okay, so, let's see here. Let's get my glasses, my sunglasses off. Okay, so we're going to go down. Let's go down two. And then let's go... Two to the right with this, which was right this way. One, oop, no, I went no, over, I went like four, but it might be good enough. That's that's left. No, it's are you sure? Well, you went down. You no, right is this way, left is up, so it's uh okay. counterclockwise okay. for right and clockwise for, for left. No, uh, we got. I got it right here. You know, I got it right. All right, let's go and uh, do some more laser shots. That Monarch, I was just noticing, it's a hollow tip. Yeah, it's a hollow tip. I didn't even know that. Kind of an unusual color. I'm used to, to other colors. Let's see how William does. I'm gonna go to the bottom right hand. Yeah, just... Uh, bottom right hand? Square, okay? Well, I can't really see it on my phone, so <laughs> you just have to shoot it. Looks about right. Yeah. I think that's about right. Adjust the laser to it. Oh, you see, the laser got real loose. Did it? 
Yeah, see? That's why I did it. So much for the laser. I need to tighten it up. And the tools are in the... Oh, it's in my bag. It's in my bag. Good. Let me... The laser got loose, so I'm going to have to retighten it. I hope it's, this is not a trend and it's... Or I need to use Loctite or something on it. All right, so I retightened the laser. I don't know if I just didn't tighten it that good, uh, but this time I really cranked down on it and was going to see where we're at. So here's the last shots I did, but that was with the scope. Uh, so we're going to retry with the laser this next round. I, I sighted in, uh, I checked the scope, and it seems to be pretty much... Side it in. I guess I could go one click over right and then I'll get the laser on the crosshairs and then I'll just shoot it with the cross uh, that way. What did you do, William? So, those so that's pretty much probably your group right here, and yeah. you're getting a little wild uh, with your trigger, is what I'm thinking. You're like I said, it's got to be a, sl a slow squeeze and then hold the trigger back once it fires. Don't Don't just kind of let it drop. Yeah. Where are you shooting? This right here, right? I don't remember now. You don't remember? It must have been this one, yeah. Okay. It must have been this one, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so let's... I'll shoot, I'll shoot this one. Now. Yeah, that one or that one. And just only shoot like a few shots and then check to see how how your sight... If your sights are good. And take your time uh, trying to prevent this from happening so you can see what, what your scope is truly... Uh, sighted in or not, you know? Yeah. Let's see if I can see through my scope. Yeah, yeah, you gotta get... I don't know, you uh, you might need to get a red dot if you're having trouble looking through a normal... Uh, because I look through it and I can see it, so you just might... Uh, maybe your eyes, there's something going on there that yeah. uh, you might just need to be use a red dot and just make it like a short-range weapon, you know? Okay, so... I went one click right, and I checked the I checked the laser. It seems to be right on the crosshair. So now I'm gonna do some shooting. I'm gonna shoot with just the laser, and then I'm trying to see if the laser will hold uh, uh, zero. William's over here fixing to shoot off a volley a volley of uh, of rounds here. So I'm gonna so I'm gonna shoot with the laser and, and see if if the laser will actually hold zero. Looks like a bullseye to me with the crosshairs. Oh yeah, that's a bullseye. It's like a one inch square bullseye. So let me put the laser on it. See the laser? I think it's walking. I think it is walking on me. Or the crosshair has moved with the shooting. Adjusted where it should be. But that looks like it's right on. So. Uh, yep. Yeah. Right there. Okay, now I'm going to shoot with the laser. See what my results are now. Okay. Huh. Gonna do another states in one minute, one minute. Oh, that, that's a bullseye too. We're pretty close to it. They're gonna do a ceasefire, so let me uh, clear the weapon. If that uh, laser's walking on me, or just the crosshairs are adjusting after I make 
because I made an adjustment on the crosshairs and then once I shoot, it actually moves the crosshairs and then it stays still or it's either the laser is, uh, is walking on me a little bit. Let's see how well I did here. Okay, so this was the crosshair shot and you saw that is dead on and this was the laser shot. I think I'm doing all right here. I think I'm doing all right. Cool, I might go for this square. So I got this square free, that square free, and all these littles. But I'm gonna play with it one more time and then I'm gonna switch over to a 308. What'd you do, William? They're all right. Right okay. There. I don't know if these were, were these shots or not. Probably these were. Yeah. Why don't you start on this shot? This okay, here. There's nothing here, so okay. Yeah. Start on that one. So we're going to go back here. I think after that I'm going to switch over to the 308. The 308 was dialed in, but it's been a while since I've shot it. And uh, so I'll make I'll tighten it down and see what uh, if there's anything worked loose over this over the summer all right well i decided to just switch over to the 308 because we're running out of daylight but um sure so, are, aren't we? so i'm going to shoot the 308 and see if this if the scope is still sighted in well the same box i'm going to shoot here just the 308 winchester 145 grain full metal jacket monarch i've shot 300 yards with this stuff and it's pretty darn good for, for being for what it is. I'm shooting like six inch group at 300 yards with uh, cheap ammo. But this is the Bear Creek Upper and a DPMS lower. And the stainless steel, I think it's 24 inch stainless steel uh, barrel. We're just shooting 50 yards. I'm just getting these guns sucked. I was going to jump over to the 100 jar range, but it don't look like we're going to have time. <clears throat> All right. Definitely got some more kick than the... Uh... 7.62 by 39. Hmm, didn't seem to improve it. It's a tight group, but it's still shooting low. Uh, this is a cheap scope, though. It's not a very good scope. Uh, I just want to tap it to let the crosshairs <laughs> adjust, you know what I mean? Because this, this is a cheap scope. It's not a high dollar scope at all. Was that with you when you bought that? What? Was that with you when you bought that? Wood, wooden. Uh, I think I was with you when you bought that. Uh, this scope? Yeah. No, I bought it online. You did? Amazon. I think it was like $25 or... Forty dollars. It's a cheap scope, but it's it's work, you know, fairly good for what it costs, you know. Because I didn't know if I wanted to uh, put more money into this gun when I first got it. Oh, I got to reload. Well, the three hundred eight is the caliber, right? But it has such a it, you know, even though it's a 308, it doesn't it doesn't hurt or it you know it doesn't kick hard or anything, but it's uh, it's a smooth uh, shooting gun. But I'm trying to get that sight to come up a little bit, and it's not exactly working. What's the make and model? Well, this is a Bear Creek, and I ordered this, and it came to my house. I already had this lower. Oh. Uh, uh, this is DP DPMS lower and the trigger's not that good on this dpms but but i already had it and had a 16 inch barrel and so i just bought the uh, bear creek upper and added it to the dpms lower and and that's what i've been shooting it's kind of a budget rifle i think i don't know what i paid i think i only paid like 300 or three and a half for this upper 
Yeah, it's pretty good price at Bear Creek. So. Hey. Okay, so I'm gonna get ready to shoot my last, I don't know, four or five shots, and, and then we'll go check to see how it did. Oh, there it is. Okay. Range is hot. Got me. One more shot. Hold on, hold nah, on. You know what? Go ahead. Yeah, I'm gonna. You ready? Alright. Go ahead. Alright. Well, that's it for the, sh for the shooting. Let's go see how we did. I don't see anybody here, so. Just... What? Is it open? Yeah. Feel me? Yeah. You're gonna feel me. All right. So I got William now as my cameraman. So this must be how it feels to be a big time you, uh, YouTuber because all the big time YouTubers got cameraman. And uh, here I got William doing it for me. So I just shot the last volley at the upper left hand corner. And we're gonna see how I did. So here I did, right there. So it's pretty much on target. I could probably maybe go one click up and call it a money shot. So are you hungry? Let's go eat. <laughs> that means cut. Yeah, Twin Peaks at this time of year is, they're scampily dressed. Well, we're gonna go get something to eat. I hope that wasn't on tape. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you next time.